What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Age of Empires Definitive Edition. We are back with the first Punic War campaign, this time the last mission, the Battle of Tunis. Frustrated by your victories in Sicily, the Romans have sent the general Regulus to attack our homeland in Africa. His army now threatens the city of Carthage, while the Roman navy approaches to blockade our ports. You must defend Carthage from these attacks and turn the tides of the battle. May Baal Haman protect us and grant us victory. Objectives. Destroy the Roman wonder. Build your own wonder in the center of Carthage inside the blue flags. Hints. The mercenary force of the Spartan soldier of fortune, Xantippus, is available for hire if you can find it. It is not necessary to, des to destroy the Roman shipyards, only to prevent their navy from destroying your wonder. Use some of Carthage's best military units, including long swordsmen, fire galleys, and war elephants. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, are you ready? This is the last mission in the game. It's just where else do we have? Guys, where, where, where? All right, let's just quickly consolidate our little army here. Get into this corner. Use this guy. Hint: Your starting base will be completely overrun. It's like. All of it completely forever. It's, it's doomed, it will die, it won't return. We'll quickly make sure and try to grab as many of the resources here as we can. And we will really just scout out the area around here. And this guy will build a town center. This is where our new economy will be. Do I need to do this if I play on an easier difficulty? No, you don't. Fun fact. If you play on an easier difficulty, you can just do whatever you like, really. You won't really get pushed off this position. You can just build up regularly and play the game as, as you would any, any old regular normal game. Go. Could you please hunt? There we go. We'll scout out a little bit, but we won't send them too far. Because if you send these guys too far, you are in a world of pain. And, well, you don't really want that, right? You can't really fight these ships when you're in a brass age and they are just railing you and that's not fun. We'll transfer these guys over because this will be attacked eventually. Oh well. Um, another thing we will do, and this is kind of cruel if you think about it, build a wall here and yes this, this is very cruel I know we are doing what has to be done you might now argue while well, building all these villagers here is a giant waste because we will die anyway and well I wouldn't necessarily disagree but you must always think about the limited resources out here mean that you have to get as much of this stuff here as possible. Now we'll stop the literature production over there now, but generally speaking, getting as many of these resources here as possible is a pretty good idea in my opinion. 
Now it's not impossible to defend that area. Don't get me wrong, it's you can defend from these ships, you kind of have to go all in in the defense of that area and I found it to be a bit unnecessary. Because you would invest a lot of resources for relatively limited gain. These guys will now just patrol around here and defend. Eventually you will lose your units over here, don't get me wrong, but... Again, limited resources and we need to create a wonder eventually and... Make it beneficial to grab as much here as you can. That being said, you will have to free that area anyway at some point because obviously you need to build your wonder here so you must unlock this area again it has now slowed down a little bit we are kind of in peace here and might now be thinking well we can now start trying to defend that area and well technically we could but we will have be attacked by red and we will be attacked by yellow and both will focus on this area and it's not my main interest to pick that fight with them so we'll now focus on the gold Now don't get me wrong, I will still put up some towers here and some defense because I don't just want to gift them my land. So I'll also grab architecture to make it a little more time consuming for them to kill us. But as you can see here, they have long swords, man. We are in the Bronze Age. <laughs> it's a losing battle, really, if you think about it. So. They now broken, which is annoying, but this was also inevitable. And as you can see, we're just building a couple of towers here to buy some more time, but all in all, this is kind of over. I also want to do this wall this off to secure the tower and keep it safe. But as you can see, we are now going towards the end of this. We are finishing the gold gathering here and after that it's... We have pretty much gotten everything that that part of the land has to offer and... Well, at that point we also don't really care anymore. Meanwhile... We will transition our economy a little bit because we have a lot of wood and these people will die now. That's the unfortunate end of this area. Well, we'll build an academy here and try to defend a little bit. But I don't really see that helping. Now go into a few hoplites. Hoplites can defend that area reasonably well. But obviously we are not going to single-handedly keep this area safe. 
We are now going heavily into food production and we're going to slow down the game speed a little bit. Going to delete this. Build another tower here. We're starting to get these upgrades. Building a granary down here. And we're to pop limit. So as you can see, we're still kind of defending that area, but... We are now transitioning to gold here. And we're using these guys to get food. Okay. Less than I expected. And once we have the food... We can go to the next age. Obviously, Hoplite's pretty good at defending, so that's always good. And we are still basically fairly secure in that position. <coughs> Our economy is huge, as you can see, and we will shrink it down a little bit once we have everything we need, because we don't need that many villagers. Um, we got out that economy relatively quickly, but we really don't need much more of it. So, But now we can go to the Iron Age. which again is very good. <laughs> and what we will do is we will look at the technology tree and I will show you something, namely a weakness. The game said you can use your long swordsman, but if you look here, we can't get legions, which is kind of a killer for that. Um, we have elephant archers, which are really, really good. Really good. <laughs> We have Helipolis, which are technically very good, but nah. the Romans have very many heavy catapults towards the, the later stages of the game, so Helipolis is a bit of a question mark. They are very good against the yellow player because they really only have infantry, but against red, not really the ideal unit. <coughs> Centurions, meanwhile, are very good, and against most of their units they are our unit of choice ballista towers will be good to secure entry points a little bit but we have to save our stone for wonder so we will probably just go for guard towers there anything else we have yes we have no catapult trireme so we can't really attack from the water and from the outside we will go for triremes if the game allows us to do so namely if these guys allow us to do so and here we have more Lone Swordsmen coming in. But we will now fight against much stronger units. Well, not much stronger units, but we will now fight against our Hoplites. And Hoplites can hold their own against one. We've just quickly gotten up a wall here, so we can defend ourselves a little bit. Still getting these res researches done, so not ideal. Um, we now have walls here, and I'm just quickly checking the weather outside because the windows are open and it's storming. So checking there a little bit. Actually, cancel this. Okay, we now have these guys. Um, We have catapults. It's not ideal. We need to go to the Iron Age and we need to do that quickly. I didn't have much health left, did it? Ah, this is annoying. Oh, 
there we go. Um, what can you do, really? Create population space? I don't know. <laughs> we'll build one of these things. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Get another shield up. We now have a ton of resources, but we also need quite a few technologies to get everything we want and need. Let's go up here. Next up, upgrading our towers. Because obviously they serve as kind of a pretty good defense. These water units are a problem, but I don't quite know yet where I want to... Oh, we're building, that's why. Um, where I want to build my own dock. And here we have our hoplites. Of course. Failing student research. Why would it? Now grab some more upgrades for him. And another thing we will do is take one of these guys, build a siege workshop. Because I want those upgrades ready as well. So right now it's not the most interesting game in the history of the world. <laughs> um, that's not a problem though, because right now is upgrade time, and upgrade time means we're pretty much just waiting to get into a position where we can threaten them. Now, Ballista Towers, while they are very good, they are not what I want. Why not? Um, well, they cost a lot of stone, and stone is an important resource, so... It's not what we want to do. Now here we have the elephant archers. And towards the later stages of the game I might actually use them. But we are not there yet. What you guys will do, however, is go out here. These guys will go on to the stone and I might transition some of my... Uh oh. I might transition some of my food villagers soon, but we still need a lot of food right now, so... That's not cool. So we can't build up here. I wonder if they will follow us. If we say build a dock here, will that work or will they follow us? I think we're busy shooting at my town center. Let's upgrade to Centurions. Now, as you can see, our economy is wide open and if they ran in here, yeah, we would have some improved bowmen, but they would probably get cut down, but the enemy doesn't really care about us over here and that's a good thing. Helepolis is another upgrade we want, that's why I still keep a lot of the food villagers around, because we still need a lot to get all these upgrades done. I will, however, now transition these guys on to wood. Get rid of this. That's a waste of resources. Well, technically it is, but... You know, sometimes you need to do that. Are we researching galley? Are you serious? Not very. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Do we need some defense towers here? And some units. Oh, this might be a problem, eventually. Um, we need some...
more population limit. <laughs> now I'll soon have to get rid of some of the food gatherers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you bringing it here? Oh, are you serious? It's closer to them, technically. And yeah, we have to walk a lot further, but technically it's closer. Well, that is... I don't know what to say about that. Let's get that shield. We're out of wood, that's interesting. Okay, so... We have five people on stone, or we have three here. So these three will soon be obsolete once that is done. And several of my food people will soon be obsolete. So I need to, no, I don't, do I? Well, I don't really know. This is now a bit of a stalemate situation. You technically don't need to deal with yellow, but getting rid of them makes the game a lot easier and it's not particularly hard to get rid of them. So we'll see. You also get the previously mentioned units and those are a lot of units and they will help you a ton. We can barely keep up with uh, production here. So we're now basically out of gold gathering guys, right? Just to go on stone. Is that a crocodile trying to attack a ballista? Is that what has happened there? Um, we now have enough resources. We don't have enough wood, of course. Which means... Oops, one, two, three. You guys are now dead. So are you two. It seems all right. still need a lot of wood. <laughs> All right, these guys now will fight a war of attrition against her, hoping that they will run out of ships at some point and we keep reproducing them. Where have the catapult trireme's gone? I wonder, I wonder. Yay, more stone gathering people. At that rate, I might actually upgrade the... Hold on. I might actually upgrade my towers if this continues at that rate um, where do we have why did I delete the building there we go ballista towers we have this already very good oh no catapult
We're sending all these units through unguarded and I have no idea what the plan is there. <laughs> Can we now get the ballista? No, still not. We need 1000 wood. Let me guess, we will never get 1000 wood. Anyway, I want to try something here. Yeah? We'll see if it works. Namely, I want to try to land here. What are you guys up to? Get some wood, please. Uh oh. Oh, good units. Probably a landing force of some sort. There we go. We will now try to use these towers to establish a position here. And once we have established a position... I still don't have 1000. You're kidding me. Do have some population space? No, we don't. Once we have established a position, we will get rid of yellow, and once we get rid of yellow... Everything will be better, hopefully. No, I don't know what we do once we get rid of yellow. We still don't have a thousand wood, and it's annoying me greatly. Please? There we go. Fun fact, the farm upgrade makes you more wood efficient. It doesn't help your food at all. Well, being able to afford farms technically helps you get food better, but... It doesn't help you get food any faster or anything. Just require le less wood over time. So we now push a little bit with towers and then we will get out some units here, which we will need to make room for. I think two more are enough. We'll see if we even need one. I think we have now established a position here. Oh no, Ballista. That's why you should always keep an eye on your minimap a little bit if you can spot a red dot somewhere. So that means units are on the way. We also have Ballistas. We don't have a Lepolis yet. Build one more tower. And then I expect to be in a lot safer position. We will lose the Ballista. But we can reproduce those. There we go. Alright, I think we have established our position here. So we will now get some wood. Now have Helepolis and now we'll just push forward. Once we have a couple more ballistas ready. Alright, we have taken pretty much all resources here. Can you please grab the gold over there? I think the Helepolis can actually outrange the towers, but I'm not entirely sure.
You said this wouldn't be a Helepolis game. Well, it isn't. Just wait and see. It won't be throughout. I promise. It's a long mission. It's the last mission of the game, so... This is... The last time we, we have our fun together in Age of Empires 1. That's a sad moment, right? Well, probably more for me than for you, but... <laughs> I don't know. It was a fun game. I had a lot of fun playing it. I had a lot of fun recording it. And I had a ton of fun doing these videos and the missions and the campaigns, even though I complain a lot. It was still a lot of fun. That being said, all good things come to an end eventually, so... It's not like we didn't expect that to eventually happen, right? It's just the way things go. Closer here. As you can see, if you don't tempt red, they leave you basically alone there. Which I don't know if that's intended, but it's fine by me. I mean, we will come to your base with some siege and some longswordsmen, but they really don't have much to, to threaten us. So we secured this base. I mean, we did migrate over here, but whoops. We would have had to do that anyway because you need all these resources here. And if you get overrun here, it's always a good idea to have some defensive units. I think that's not ideal. I think we need another ship. I mean, we have four of them, but I don't know. We have a ton of resources scabbered up, so that's something we can play with, but... I want another Helapolis before we go too deep. I also want another tower before we get into trouble here. Give these guys number one and these guys number two because I need my Helepolis a lot more than I need these ships. One thing I must say though, low, lump bleh, low numbers of Helepolis are not great at taking down buildings, that's really not their main strength. The thing is, this is not what you build them for, you build them against units. But in decent numbers, they're pretty good against all sorts of buildings as well. Especially due to their range, they can just outrange towers. Uh oh. Villager charge, help us. Help this guy. What are they doing, man? That was never going to work. So, Red is now taking down our farms here. That's not cool. Do I care? Not really. Should stop them on their way out. Actually, I want three of them. Let's retreat to these towers. Stop. This guy is still here. The gold guys are still alive, so I don't really care too much. Crazy? I think that's safe now. 
Can we afford that? One f 130. No, we can't actually. That's a real shame, isn't it? Real shame. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. We will now take out the rest of yellow and then we will take down the yellow base and at the same time we'll start to focus our attention over here. Because our economy is moving more and more upward and we really don't have anything of it secured. So it's entirely possible everything falls apart. Now luckily we don't need very many people gathering food so these guys doing that here is totally fine. I will get two more three more because we still need a steady food supply because we will need some centurions and some of other unit stuff <laughs> why am i getting these ships well you will see that in a second Pretty much just reinforce this area. What do upgraded walls cost? Where's the building? There it is. A hundred. Here we have that. A lot of gold, huh? Um, it's not ideal, but we'll see. Please get rid of this. Thank you very much. Um, these guys, man. Come here. You get number two because I really don't care about these ships here anymore. Yellow is basically eliminated. I don't know what you're thinking. We're still second in score ahead of red, so they can't be that eliminated, but let me tell you they are. No reason to be afraid of them. Like, why do I set them to defensive stance? It really doesn't work as I thought it would. So, why do we... Or why did we build these ships, you might ask? Well, to defend our position here. Because these two crossings are the only way towards us and that should keep our economy relatively safe. Because even though I don't care about losing some of those villagers, I would care if I lost all of them. And I care about losing a Helepolis. That was a shame. I guess I need to watch my units a little bit at least. So, what else do we need? Two of these. Two of these. Three of these. What do I do with all this stuff? You'll see. Well, we'll build an army. I think that much is obvious, but <laughs> again, you, you will see. Stop wandering off, man. One more thing. A dock here. Because I want to replace some of the ships that I lose when the catapults cross and stuff. Obviously crossing catapults are one of our main dangers. Do they? What do we even cost? They cost food, a lot of food, and some gold. So we need to get a lot more food, okay. 
Well, and a lot more gold. Okay. We may or may not have rebalanced our economy sufficiently. Okay. We have no more idle villagers, so that's good. Um, you guys, however, will go up here. And actually... Before we do anything, I will now get to the pub limit. Which we just reached. Apparently. Oh, there's a tower here. That's a bit annoying. Oh, we can take this down. Okay. Um, oh, we're losing ships. It's not cool. It's not cool at all, man. Oh, I have some serious range. Alright. Um, I think we have everything we need. Good, so let's move on. Um, next, what the hell are you doing? Next on our list is... Moving these guys up here. I think we're running out of stuff in their own island. Kind of like we are running out of stuff here. Probably why they're trying to get their economy to a new space, but I don't think that's going to work the way they thought it would. Please get out of range. Oh, we grabbed them. Good. Well, we are now at our pub limit, so... Getting rid of these units would help, however. Not gonna lie. Uh-oh. There we go. Catapults, man. Are strong, are strong. Okay. Maybe we'll will eventually rebalance our economy here. You guys join. They will kill everything here. I will also try to transport over my units. Where are we trying to go? Am I marching towards my economy or wh what is our goal? Right, we are now moving forwards a little bit here. Let's go for it. We need to hurry up a little bit because this game is kind of going in a direction where, where I don't like it. Might 
might go for these archers. They are pretty good, right? This one's dead. Oh, actually it isn't. Quite surprisingly it isn't. I forgot these archers so they just have so much health. Can take such punishment. Really wonderful how they do that. Get in there. You take care of a ship. Oh, that's a lot. You see, this is why we don't use Helapolis now. I mean, we have to use some in order to get rid of her towers, because that's something these guys can't do, but... Generally speaking, that's the main reason. I think we're in a tough spot here. We're losing a ton of our stuff. But so are they, so that's good. Overall, though, it's a troubling situation. One which I would love to resolve. Now we're losing our economy here, that's not good. There's always a chance we might have to eventually rebuild our economy if this isn't working out. What annoying. Well, we are transitioning a lot of our units away. Plus you. Go away! So, as you can see, red is... A formidable opponent. Despite Yellow's best effort and Army is now mostly on this island again. Should be able to overwhelm them though eventually. I feel like building some villagers here to get the wonder up already. Because when we can't overspend, so we, we, we can't spend resources we need for the wonder when the wonder is already up. Makes sense, right? I think we don't get chariots, do we? Where are we? Here, chariot? Nope. So our non-gold units are lacking. We get ships, and that's it.
That being said, the ships are helpful, so it's not like we get nothing that doesn't cost gold, but this is quite the struggle. Centurions. They have their purpose, but I just don't think right now. I don't have the durability that I seek. Are you serious? It's <sighs> not ideal. Okay. Okay, these guys are working again. Maybe you can do that as well. Oh, we are approaching, okay. I didn't think we would be doing that so quickly. I wasn't prepared. Should have been, but I wasn't. We're now moving in and trying to get rid of them. Let's think about these archers, you can just move them in because we're so durable. That being said, we still don't have much of an army here. I wonder if we can get some stone from somewhere really. Somewhere would be nice. Get rid of them. I kind of don't want to fight with just two of them. Send these guys up. Get some reinforcement. They are strong units, so it's good reason to use one. I will use this one just as defense for the gold here, because gold is still king. I didn't see the priest, you know, I think it was like right here, hidden behind the government center. I think that's where he was. Sneaky. Can we build it? <laughs> I'm just so uncertain, man. I think we can, but what if it goes down and we're kind of dead, right? Can't do that. This. Thank you. Let's consolidate our army a little bit and spread it out too wide. Yeah, we have enough stuff. I think we're dead. Surprised we went for cavalry roll, but we really don't have very many production buildings anymore. 
What the hell do you want from me? Go away. So they are kind of just getting rid of them, so that's good. Um, kind of afraid of going in, but we pretty much have to. Oh no, an X-Man. <laughs> We're out of gold. Where did these guys go? Can you see that? More stone. Not ideal. That's ah, really not ideal. Get rid of this. Thank you. The temple is down, so that's something. They have a lot of production left, but I don't think we have any resources left, so... And well, they also don't have a lot of production left, but... You know what I mean? More than nothing, right? Not really any resource, actually. Please scout here if there are resources that we might need. And by that I mean gold or stone. Go here, actually you go here. You go here. There's probably just forest there that I would like to check. We have like 9,000 food, that's not normal. Which means we can get rid of these three. Use them to get out some archeries in case we need any reinforcements here. And then we put them onto the stone. I'll just build it, whatever. This could become interesting. I don't think we're threatened. Well, I mean, we have ships, but we have towers and we have ships as well. So if they come to attack us, I don't want these guys over here. Or they're good defensive units. A lot of gold, by the way, so that's not cool. Hey, look, another transport ship. That also didn't make it. So... Oh my. Yeah, I don't need to throw away my units, right? So... This is quite serious. Once we get rid of their ranged units, however, we're kind of a sitting duck here. So we can use that to our advantage. Hey, look, there's also some stone. Can you please get the stone? Thank you. Hey, there's more gold up here as well. Uh, okay, there's nothing here. Okay, let's cancel the production here. Okay, this is all done already.
Get rid of everything. It's our motto. I think we've won. These guys will now build this. Okay, that's good. We haven't taken down yellow, which was a goal, but well, it's not a, an official game goal, but it was a goal of ours, but we don't do it because I don't care. We can't just sit here and wait. Well, we take this down and we build our own thing up. Taking down yellow was always just a bonus for this mission, but... Why not get a bonus, right? Bonus is fun. Oh, we'll now take this down. And these guys can't break out anyway. Like It's not like they can walk through there. There are no gates in this game. So. Let's load up. Red is down, we will load this up. And then, and then, they are done. Cancelling the queues, so I'm not building any stuff that I don't want. Let's go up here. Once this is finished, we have won. We're now pretty much just passing the time trying to kill them. I think I'll just land straight on, right? I mean, why not? You know, let's break this open. Give them a chance. How much is it? 72%? Very good. You guys, take it. Is it full? Okay. If it sinks, it sinks. Like, let's be honest. I hope it doesn't, but if it does, it does. I mean, we don't need to force it to sink by just driving into our hands, but... There we go. We could just defeat yellow and forego the wonder, by the way. Like, if you blow it and you don't have any resources left... Like, if this went down now, we wouldn't have resources left, so... Then you just... Well, delete and not delete and then you just well lost <laughs> no you haven't lost you can just take down yellow and win, win that way that works as well so don't worry It's not the end of the world. The wonder is soon done though. 95. We won't get to kill yellow. Such a shame, right? We just never really focused on doing that. I mean, we sent our units from up here into our base, but... That's it. Mission done. That was pretty fun, I'd say. So, that was Age of Empires. <laughs> That's it. That's the last mission. That's all. <laughs> it, it was a fun last mission. It was worthy of it. It was quite the challenge in some ways. And yeah, let's look at the end screen. You have snatched victory from near defeat. The Roman army has been crushed and Regulus sits in chains in your tent. 
word has come that the fleeing survivors of the Roman fleet were caught in a storm and found their graves at the bottom of the sea. While your stunning victory has saved Carthage, you know that the Romans will never surrender. You fear that you have only delayed their eventual triumph. Now, Carthage will be fine, I'm sure. So thanks for watching this campaign, thanks for watching this video, and, and thanks for the journey through Age of Empires. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. And yeah, we'll see where, where our journey leads us next. Maybe AoE 2? I don't know. Maybe AoE 3 Definitive Edition? I've never... Well, I've played a little bit of AoE 3. I've played a lot of AoE 2, so... Probably that. I do want to play something where I know what I'm talking about, but maybe we can learn AoE free together. Who knows? Who knows? It will release it eventually, right? Definitive edition. I have listed it already, I think. Don't know release date. Well, maybe we'll find that out eventually as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching a lot, and, and I hope you can finish all these campaigns as well. Get that perfect game, and... We will see each other wherever you choose to tune in, you know. <laughs> so, just one really last word. I really like that game. Yes, AoE 2 is better, but I really like that game. I, I like that they remastered it or brought out a definitive edition, whatever that means. I like that they included all these DLC campaigns. They're really fun. The campaigns are, are, are were a blast to go through, and it took me like two years to, to complete this project. It was delayed here and there. You know, moving, moving out, moving from here to there, the birth of my child. Everything has happened during during that time, <laughs> and kind of all delayed this and when doing other games, etc. So. Glad for everyone who stuck with it, who, who has gone through these campaigns, and I hope it helps some of you guys. So, yeah. Until next time, farewell.